Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's a new year and something I want to implement into my videos is my toy hunts. So I toy hunt pretty much every single week. Sometimes it's multiple days throughout the week or sometimes it's just one day. It just depends on my schedule. So I'd like to upload a video maybe every week or every other week depending on what I find in store. So we're gonna kick this video off with the week after Christmas. I wanna see what the stores look like right after the holidays, and I wanna see what kind of toys are going on clearance. So I was able to toy hunt two days this week. I went to a Walmart, a Target, and a Ross. Here's what I found. All right, gonna go to Walmart first. Let's see what they have. Some vintage collections here. Looks like all Landos. Okay, we have to a TIE Fighter back here. Okay. Where did you find the other one? Let's see, I'll tell you. Here's the Walmart exclusive uh, Razor Crest. Comes with uh, off roll Jawa, Kewl, Troop Transports, Slave One, and some Black Series over here. Some AEW. I'm looking for Pokemon, but look, they have some uh, Mace Windu. Jurassic is pretty normal, nothing new, nothing really crazy. So pretty much most of my attention is gonna be from the Hammond collection of Jurassic. Lego is pretty much, <laughs> there's like nothing here. This is insane, wow. There's a Harry Potter set up there, but Man, Lego is empty. We got some stuff over here, but dang. Lego is completely wiped out. This is kind of what I was expecting the stores to look like. There's another Mace Windu right here. Dang, dude. Check this out. They actually have the Warthog here. This is my first time actually seeing it in person. So they took the turret off, but they have it here. It's a tow winch. Looks like, looks like it might have some lights that work. But dang, look at the little shocks. That is awesome. I don't see any on the floor here, so I don't even think they have any for sale, but uh, I'm tempted to buy it. I mean, my daughter's gonna be old enough to, to ride it soon. So we'll see. Okay, I actually found a clearance section. So a bunch of dolls and stuff, nothing crazy. Okay, Walmart didn't have anything. I wasn't really surprised. Um, so I'm gonna head to Target now and see what they have. And then I'm gonna go to the gym and that should wrap up Monday. Next is Target. I really love this Target. It's been a good one to me. Let's see what they got. All right. Hot Wheels, completely empty, but it's been that way for a long time. Micro Galaxy Squadron, let's see if they did any restocks. So we got Vader's Tie, Vader's Tie, some clone gunships, Falcon, let's see here. Asajj, TIE Fighter, regular Asajj. Okay, TIE, so I got an AT, ATST, just the regular. And we have Vader's tie, Vader's tie. So nothing new as far as Micro Galaxy goes. And let's see, Star Wars, Black Series, a bunch of peg warmers right now because the prices are so expensive, it's insane. Some AEW down here. Some more AEW, Chris Jericho, I know Chris Jericho. Cody Rhodes. MJF 
and just a bunch of black series. These guys were like on sale for like, I think 13 bucks for like the longest time. Over here, some more black series, Lando. Jurassic is pretty wiped out. I mean, nothing new, a bunch of older stuff, a bunch of Hammond collection over here. So hopefully they'll start clearing out a lot of this stuff. We'll start getting some new, some new stuff. Halo, nothing new yet. I did see some sightings of the ODST drop pod. Somebody found it in store at Target. So hopefully those should be hitting store soon. Sonic, an open Sonic right here. That's not cool. Wow, Pokemon's completely wiped out. That's, that's awesome. And then I know there's a bunch of Marvel Legends fans out there. I'm not really a Legends guy, so just to show you what's here. And then G.I. Joe, I've never been a big G.I. Joe fan. I respect the line, I think it's great, but here's some G.I. Joes. These look like they're all the same. Here's some more Joes. I think people are really into this guy. Not too sure, but found some more Joes. Okay, day one was kind of a bust. Walmart didn't really have anything. There's no Pokemon or anything like that. Um, they still had some Micro Galaxy Squadron, and then there's a lot of weird stuff on clearance, just stuff that didn't sell, like LOL dolls. Um, there was some AEW stuff, and then like other little playset type of things. Target was an absolute disaster. I mean, there was stuff everywhere. I mean, they still had product, but it was just like chaotic. There was absolutely zero Hot Wheels. Star Wars Black Series was full. I mean, the prices on those are insane. Um, Marvel Legends was insane. There was a bunch of stuff with that. I saw a, quite a bit of G.I. Joes. I'm not too familiar with the G.I. Joe line, um, so I know a lot of people like them, but I, I did see some cool figures on there that people like, but it was honestly nothing for me. So I'm going to wait for the Black Series figures to go on clearance. Uh, I know they eventually will because no one's paying for those. I mean, even popular characters like Obi-Wan is still sitting there. So uh, smart move right now is wait for Black Series to go on sale. They still had quite a bit of Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 1. So I'm hoping a lot of those get bought up soon so they can cycle in Series 2 and we can start seeing more of those. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what's down the Pokemon aisle. Wow, lots of... Charizard Ultra Premium Boxes. Okay, Moltres, Zapdos. So this Target doesn't have a whole lot of stuff going on. A bunch of Marvel Legends. Got some Sonic and stuff. Five Night at Freddy's. Let's see over here. Halo. Nothing new with Halo. Looks like that was the Mantis. So $30 there, but those are all gone. Some Black Series. Some G.I. Joes. Looks like there's a Republic LAT right here. Lots of Jurassic. Pretty stocked with Jurassic. Hi, Ken. We got a Ceratosaurus. Oh, wow, $10? What? $10 for this figure? Uh, I think that's a big win, so I'm gonna take that. Put that in there. And we got some Oh, that was for the Dilophosaurus. Uh, only a dollar. Let's see if there's any in here. Looks like they're all Ellie Sellers. Let's see what's on Micro. So yeah, I've been seeing these um, popping up now that they're on clearance. Um, so about half off or so. So I'm imagining that they're going to be making um, space for Series 2 to come out. Maybe they're just trying to uh, make room, get rid of some extra allocations that they have. But these are all... Assages, TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter, and it looks like a normal TIE Fighter as well. Black Series, nothing but Landos, like always. That is just insane. It looks like we have an Obi-Wan up there. These Obi-Wans are still too expensive. Gunships, Falcons. Actually, we'll check some of these AEWs real quick. In there, here's a Target exclusive guy. Look what I found hiding right here. I'm like pretty sure these are on clearance for like ten dollars. So we're gonna scan that and see. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. I think it's ten bucks. Thirteen dollars. We'll take it. Okay, we're gonna see what Ross has. Usually they have. Decent amount of stuff around the holidays, but Ross is always hit and miss. 
and it's just always crazy messy in there so hopefully we find something good all right you can already see what i'm looking at over here but i found this on the shelf so this is series three and they want 549 so that's actually not bad half off basically so then we have some banished ghosts that's 1399 1399 as well here's the checkpoint sets and that is oh they reduced it even more to 1399 and then it looks like we got some mantis up here and mantis for 20 dollars okay more mantis looks like that's the only single pack figure that they have so they have some of the larger halo figures back there oh yeah Bunch of checkpoints, Hapa. and let's see. Looks like there's a little something over here. There we go. We got a. Uh... Oh, we got a warthog too. All right. So we have mongoose, thirteen bucks. Not bad. And then we got a warthog, twenty six. So um, that'll probably go down. Like some micro machines over there too. Another mantis right there. Oh wow, they have this banished ghost for ten dollars. Which, I mean, that's pretty much a good pickup, honestly. Ten dollars for this? Not bad. So it was a pretty good haul this week. I was honestly surprised since Christmas had just ended. I expected all the shelves to be bare and empty. So I picked up this Mando original price, $26, and I got it for 13 and some change. So the smartest move for Black Series right now is just wait. Honestly, they've upped the prices so much on these figures that they're just sitting there. So unless it's a figure you absolutely need to have right now, I would recommend just waiting because the clearances are coming. Target also had the Ceratosaurus for $10. The original price is like $19.99, but these Hammond Collection figures are awesome. If you're a Jurassic fan like me, I mean, these have great articulation, great details. So finding this at $10 was amazing. And Jurassic always holds its value over time as well. It's been a little while since I've been to Ross, but they're usually pretty good around the holidays. So I know I've seen the Shade Turret there, the Gungoose, the Mongoose, and a few other things. But I picked up Series 3 World of Halo Spartan Cavalino for $5. So basically half off. Also the Banished Ghost half off as well. Got it for $10, original price $19.99. So if you're looking to complete part of your collection or army build a bunch of figures, Ross is the way to go right now. But hey, thank you so much for watching this toy hunt video. I'd love to know your feedback down below and other things that you'd like to see in future toy hunts. I'd also love to hear what you guys are finding in your stores as well. But if you like this video and you want to see more of it, be sure to like and subscribe. It is free and I will see y'all in the next toy hunt.